full living force in the kingdom of God. If you can get this full living force attached, if you can get them, you get anything and anything at all at all that you need from them. The full living force in the kingdom of God. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on my Facebook page at Anthony Ministry TV. And also join me in saving lives. Let's join hands together to save lives by sharing this message. Forward it to many of your contacts. Let's join hands together to share to save life. Comment, like, and God bless you. I love you. Amen. Four living force in the kingdom of God. Number one living force. The Bible said that the word of the Lord is quick. The word of the Lord is living, is active, is quick. It's a living force. The word of God is a living force. And the Bible makes us to understand that the word of God is also sharper. That is to say, is living and active. So, for living force. Jesus said, the word to you, the word I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life. Every word of God is a living force. Every word of God is quick. Every word of God is powerful. Every word of God is a, is a living force. So I want us to discuss about four living force in the kingdom of God. Number one living force is love. Love. In heaven, the highest thing, the highest realm in the kingdom of God is the realm of love. That is why the Bible said that God is love. That is the realm God is. God is love. God is love. So you can call God love. He will answer. So God is love. It's not that God loves, but God is love. So the realm of love is the highest realm, is the highest realm in the kingdom of God. And that is why anytime God wants to have a encounter with any one of us or anybody, he will demonstrate that love. He will demonstrate that love. That is the highest the realm force is the force of love. The force of love. In looking at that force of love, in the book of John, Gospel of John, chapter 3, verse 16, the Bible says, For God so loved the world, he gave us his only begotten Son, that whosoever that believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So the realm of love or the force of love is the highest force in the kingdom of God. And that is the realm God dwells. God demonstrated that realm after Adam and Eve has disobeyed. Devil naked them. They were naked. So they were looking for leaves to sew clothes and to cover themselves. And God came down. That Lord drew him down. God came down. And the Lord seen them in the, in, the, in the area of their mess. God seen them in that situation of mess. God decided to kill animal and use the skin to cover them. He still loved them even when they were sinners. That is why the Bible said that even when we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. What manner of love that God has bestowed on us, that God demonstrated towards us, that God showed us that even when we are sinners, Christ died for us. That is the realm of love. Number one force in the realm, number one force in God's kingdom is the force of love. Number two force is the force of faith. Force of faith. Bible said that without faith, it is impossible to please God. So it is a force of faith. The, Bible, the word of God said that the just shall live by faith, by faith, by faith. So it means, as I said in one of my videos, that after salvation, Faith is the second thing in the kingdom that every child of God must look for faith. That any child of God that did not have faith will be a victim of circumstances. That what that is happening to others, what is happening to unbelievers, what is happening to sinners, will end up happening to that child of God. Though he is born again, though he is sanctified, though he is righteous, but those things will end up happening to him. Because the realm of heaven is controlled by faith. It is faith is the access to that realm. 
Faith is the currency of heaven. I, I, I said that faith is the currency of heaven. That is why the Bible said, the word of God makes us to understand that money is a defense. Wisdom is also is a defense. But the excellency of wisdom is that he giveth life to them that findeth it. That is to say, in the kingdom of God, what money, what faith can do for, do for people in the kingdom of God, money do it for people in the world. Let me explain it well to you. With faith, you can get anything. You can buy anything. With faith, you can buy anything. When your faith in God is strong, you can ask God for anything. You can ask Him for blessing. He give it to you. You can ask Him for house. You receive it by faith. You can receive blessing by faith. You can receive house by faith. You can receive children by faith. You can receive anything, any material blessing by faith. Now, but money also, you can use money, can use money to buy a house. You can use money to buy everything you want, material things. So it's like money and faith. Money is a physical currency. Why faith is a spiritual currency? But the excellency of faith is that faith provides money. Money never provides faith. Faith provides money. You can use faith to get money. But you cannot use money to get faith. That is to say, the kingdom of God, that force of faith controls the physical realm. The force of faith is greater than the force of money. Get it right. But your faith can never work without love. The Bible makes us to understand that faith worketh by love. By love. Many a times, Christians, children of God, try to confess faith, try to demonstrate faith. They discover that they are having grudges in their hearts against their neighbor. They, are, they, they were offended with their neighbors or they want one thing or the other in their heart. They are having grudges. They are having anxiety. That is why their faith cannot work after praying and fasting because faith cannot work without love. Faith cannot work without love. Even when you want to do anything for God, you must do it based on the realm of love and the realm of faith together because two of them goes parepasso. Two of them goes together. Two of them are like husband and wife. Faith and the love. They are like husband and wife. Because anything you are doing for God, you must do it because of the love you have for God and the faith you have in God. Number so the force in the kingdom of God is a force of faith. Number three force in the kingdom of God is a force of belief. You know that belief is different from faith. Sometimes uh, people are mis misunderstanding it. There's, they are misrepresenting faith to love. I mean, they are misrepresenting faith to believe. No, they are not the same. Faith is different from belief. Belief is that I believe what God said. God said it shall be well with me. I believe it. That is belief. God said that whosoever that call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I believe it. That is belief. So I believe that if I call upon the name of the Lord, I will be saved. It is belief. But that I believe it will not make it to work. But until I act dead on it, on what I believe, until I acted on what I believe, when I put action based on what I believe, it is it becomes faith. Automatically, it turns to faith. It's no longer believing. You understand it very well. It turns to faith. When I act, when I put action based on my conviction, based on my belief in one area, I try to demonstrate it or practice it because of my belief, it becomes faith. So now, that belief, with that belief, you cannot be able to practice faith. It is when a man believes before he can practice it. According to the word of God, we say that according to as it is written, I believe, therefore have I spoken. Apostle Paul said, we also believe and we do speak in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 13. According to as it is written, I believe, therefore have I spoken. Apostle Paul said, we also believe, this is belief, and therefore we speak, this is faith. So faith must base on your belief. It must base on your belief. But your belief can never give you that, that, that inheritance. It is your faith based on your belief, on the foundation of your belief in your heart you know, that will give you the result you desire. Remember that number one force is your love. Is love. Love is number one force 
that controls heaven. Remember that number two force is the force of faith. Number one is the force of love. Number two is the force of faith. Number three is the force of belief. Force of belief. Force of belief. The Bible said that blessed is she that believeth, for she shall see the manifestations of those things spoken to her by the prophet of God. When the angel of the Lord visited Mary, Mary said to angel Gabriel, Be it unto me according to your word. So he believed what the angel said. He believed, he believed, he believed. So our belief is the foundation of our faith. But the love we have for God supersede. Number one realm is the realm of love, force of love, force of faith, number two, and force of belief. Then number four force is the force of patience. Force of patience. I discovered that this end time, this our generation, patience is no longer mentioned. People don't like to hear the word patience because everybody needs it now, now, now. Nobody wants to wait. The Bible said that we should look at those through faith and patience. In the book of Hebrews chapter 6 verse 12, the Bible makes us to understand that we should look at those people in the Bible which through faith they had in God and the patience received the inheritance, they received the blessing they, are look, they were looking for. It means that when a man believed, when a man had faith, the gap between faith and the manifestation is patience. The gap between faith and the, the day you receive the result, the answer is patience. And there is nobody who served God in the Bible who did not operate in the force of patience. No matter how horrid every one of us may be in life, no matter how difficult things may be, and everybody don't want to exercise patience anymore, we must understand that the force of patience controls this heavenly realm, the realm of power. Patience, Bible says, let patience have its full course. As I said in one of my videos, that 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 man is like a seed. And the seed, all of them, all trees are not bearing fruit at the same time. They have different seasons. They have different time. They have different period. And that is why the Bible says in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3, to everything under the sun, there is time and season. There is time and season. So to make us to understand, today this person may be bearing fruit that is having result having blessing another person is not yet his time of bearing fruit is not yet the time god programming him to bear fruit to have the result so now it is the patience that individual will exercise we must learn these four forces we must learn these four forces in the kingdom of god that give us access to heavenly realm that make us to follow god all the people that follow God in the Bible, they operated on this four realm. The realm of love. They love God. Abraham loved God. He decided to kill Isaac for the sake of love he had for God. For the sake of faith he had in God. For the sake of belief, how he believed what God said. And for the sake of patience, he received the promise God made. Check all the people in the Bible. So, we must be very, very careful when we hear some messages today that want to trigger us out of patience, out of patience, because people think that faith works automatically. People think that faith works automatically. No, faith requires patience. No pregnant woman today, no matter how level of faith she has in God, that God will allow her to deliver tomorrow, a day after. No. No pregnant woman today, no matter how we exercise faith in God, that God will allow her to put to bed after three months. No, it will. But that baby will be there until nine months. The baby will be fully grown. And now it is due. It is the date. It is the right time to give birth for that miracle. So every miracle in your life has time. And I pray for you today. Receive grace to give birth of favor. Give birth of miracle. This four force, force of love, force of faith, force of patience, 
and force of belief. Oh, I pray for you today, child of God. Receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. Don't forget that this is the Christian platform where we grow, where we learn the word of God. So anybody that wants to learn more of God should follow me on this platform. Subscribe to this platform and let us move together. God bless you all. May the peace of God and the God of peace be with you all. In Jesus' name. See you next time. And bye for now.